get excited, guys, because today we're going to be making our own maze game. And actually, it's not as hard as it sounds. But it might be a little bit more complex than the other one we did. So hang on. So I'm first going to want an on start block and a forever block. Let's add two if statements. Four, actually. <laughs> and let's put key space pressed on all these. I'm going to pause your video if I'm going a little bit too fast. Also, now we're going to want up arrow, down arrow, right arrow, and left arrow. So I know I'm going a little fast. Let me explain this. So I'm saying is that if the up key is pressed, then, well, so far nothing will happen. Or any of this stuff. Now let's add a move block to all of these, and let's test it out. Move 10 steps. Ack. Got right in there. Problem with text coding. I mean, block coding, sorry. I do a little bit of both. Okay. So right now, if we tried to do this, he would move with any key. It's not exactly what we want. Also, let's add this block that says go to zero, zero, so we never lose him. But to make him point in the direction we want, all we need to do is a point direction block. So let's add that, change that to zero. And after this, we can make our guy look cool K ninety. Let's keep that at ninety. Okay. So now this is going pretty good. Got some fine code brewing. Okay. But anyways, let's continue. Anyway, so now we look at this. It's all weird looking. And if you want to get rid of that, add this block. Now he'll walk like this. But I'm gonna change my character because I think I want my character to be another cat. And speaking of which, later at some point, we are going to be learning how to make our own sprites. But now, this looks okay with this guy. Oh no, left. So if you want to get rid of that, you're going to have to go to direction and put you press this and now I should be able to move like this okay so it's all going good and well but I think what there's no maze yeah you're right so first before we do any of that I want to show you around making your own character press paint in the costumes tab and first I'll show you vector actually so vector, you can, it's easier to have like something that has two colors, like a purple body, but a black outline. And that's something cool. And vector, there's one problem with it. You can't just fill this whole screen. So that's really annoying right there. But something cool is if you go to a fill tool on this one, you can mix colors. Watch, watch this. Now, it looks like this. Also, you can write a bunch of stuff and come back and change it later. So you could add that, and then you could delete it a few seconds later and say, I love dogs. But if you tried this bitmap, tried to come back to it, you can't. And you could accidentally, like, type something on top. And also, if you come back to Vector and you try and select something that you edited with that, it you can't you select it anymore. Sure, you can select this, because this is the whole picture, but you can't select anything else. So that's the bummer part. So you can play with either, and the rest kind of works like, just, you know, like anything. I think I'm going to have a little guy that's like a little square. 
And you don't have to do drawing either. I'm not that great at it. I don't really enjoy it either. I'm more of a coder. But there are a lot of people on Scratch. If you love anime or drawing or whatever, that will follow along with you. Also, like we said last time, you can copy. And this comes really handy if you want to copy something you made, like a hand, for example, and put it over here. Now, I'm going to add two little eyes to this guy. Oh, he's so cute. I'm going to put a little... No, he looks okay. So now, let's delete this little guy. And now, if I play... Oops, he's... Is he backwards? Nope, he's facing the right way. So now, he walks around like this. Oh, he's so cute. Okay. Make your character... And I'll be right back. Wow, we're already six minutes through. That's amazing. Okay. Anyways, let's continue. So, now let's start drawing the maze. Why do I not draw it in the background? Because if we want a character that, like, just cut touches color, which is something you can do, uh, then it comes kind of hard because... Then if you want to have like enemy, like a certain person in your game that's supposed to be friendly, if they have that color on them, it's a complete failure. So I'm going to use black and stuff, but you can use whatever. So let's make a little maze. That... And there are kind of two options for a maze. You can make it so you get hurt instantly, or you can't move around the walls. Either which are fine. I'm going to delete some of this. The good thing about Vector is it makes sure that whatever you delete is kind of clean-ish, you know what I mean? It does its best to make things kind of clean. Okay. And that white drop there, I swear, it's not like something... I should be worried about. And I'm going to draw a big thing right here. And why don't I pause the video and I'll come right back. Okay, guys. So my maze. <laughs> Ta-da. Now let's test it and see if it blocks our... Oh, it doesn't block our player. Mm, and I need to make an edit on my plays. So let me make an edit on my play. My maze. <laughs> And then I'll show you how to get the maze working. Okay, so now uh, we're going to make sure, first of all, that our maze is at zero, zero. On start, just in case, let's make it so there's a block for that, just in case we move it a little bit. So there, now my maze is actually how it's supposed to look. Probably why my character was stuck in the thing. Okay, now let's do one more thing. We need to make it so... If the player is touching the maze, like the same thing we did with the cat in the first video, we're going to make it so he moves back minus his speed. Why don't we make a variable for that, speaking of which? 
And if you don't know what a variable is, it's like something that holds information where that's a letter or whatever. Let's set their speed to five. And now we can make them move at the speed. It makes it so much easier to change the speed. And now how can we make it so the speed is moving them backwards? Well, we just need to use the join block. Let's add speed with a negative. Now let's test this out. Keeping us trapped in. Might be a little glitchy because I might have to delete my hands because they kind of can ruin it. So I'm just going to be a little block box of eyes. Now let's test this out. You might have to, okay, there. So now, our thing's a little glitchy, so why don't we fix that up a little bit in the next video.